Ah, good morning you lot. I hope everything's alright in the land of wherever you are. Today, you join me in my shack as we have a look at this lovely Superstar 120. I've got my cup of coffee here, ready to rock and roll. Lovely jubbly. It's not too cold out there this morning. It's a nice temperature. Don't know what it is, but it's nice. Walk around in shorts and t-shirt, even though it is October. Lovely. Right, let's have a look at this then. Now this is, uh, I really do like this radio. This is a very nice radio. Um, it's in all right condition, but I really like the setup of how it is on the front. I mean, it's fantastic. You've got a nice meter. Now, this um, reads your signal, your RF power, and you can also, you've got SWR calibrations there. Now, I wonder if I can zoom in a little bit. Uh, hold on a minute. There we go. Let's zoom in a little bit. And we can have a look to see we've got um, all the switches and dials and buttons there. Oops, you must excuse me there for a little bit of a jump cut. I turned the telephone on. I turned this telephone on because um, in my other videos, sometimes I look at comments and I use that iPhone in order to look at the comments. I turned it on, ready to make a video later on today, and it started going off. Anyway, we can have a look to see here what we've got. We've got this meter, and then we've got your top of that switch there is um, signal slash RF, so that meter will then read the signal what's coming in. And when you key the mic, when you key out the radio, it will read your RF power. Now this radio is not, you cannot adjust the power unfortunately on this radio, so it's stuck at whatever it is. Um, and we'll get into that in a minute because there's a reason why, uh, um, you know, there's a reason for that. Um, and you flick that little switch down there, and then that will go to SWR, so that uh, will not read a signal coming in, it'll only read the SWR, standing wave ratio, um, when you key up that's coming back into the radio and then we got calibration so you flick that down there then you would key and then you would adjust your um, SWR calibration knob here where it says SWR calibration and you would adjust that until you get your uh, little needle up to the, the cal line on here and then you de-key switch that to SWR and then that will read that um, never really go by meters that are built into radios, they don't tend to be very accurate and don't tend to be very good. Now, if it's all you've got, you can use them as a guide, but, you know, not particularly very accurate on any radio. And then we've got, because this is an AM and FM radio, we have um, off, obviously, um, automatic noise limiter, and then um, noise blanker, or you can have both. You can't have noise, shut up, look, the telephone's going off again now. You can't have just the noise blank on its own. You can have noise limiter, but noise blanker. Not noise blank. You can have to have both. Um, or it's just off. We've got a Roger beep on this radio. And oh, oh, there we go again. Matt, what are you doing? And then <laughs> with this radio, um, the Roger beep is just a little beep. It's not um, a fancy beep or a loud beep. It's just a little beep. And it tends to work better on AM than it does on FM for some reason. So that's an on or off. And then we've got PA, public address. And we've got FM and AM. No sidebands on this radio. So AM, FM, and PA. Now, then we come to the band selector. Now this is, this is the deal breaker for this radio. This is the deal breaker. <laughs> Considering I'm in England, this is the deal breaker. Now, we got low, medium, and high. Now, legal in this country, in England, only the mids. Only the mids are legal, unfortunately. Lows are not, and neither are highs, only mids. So, I can only go on those frequencies. Now, this radio, um, CRT, I don't know, I believe they're a French company, I'm not entirely sure, I believe they're a French company. Now this particular radio here that you see, I bought from a person in France, a woman in France. I think it's a woman, I paid a woman anyway, in France. Um, so, it obviously got shipped over from France. Now this is why it's not uh, 2781, UK 40 channels um, 
whether they did come in a UK fort, we I don't know. They may well have done, but this particular one is the European version of France. So we've got high, medium, and low, and then we've got channel 19 and normal, lovely, jubbly channel selector here. There we go. Microphone plug, four pin, lovely, jubbly. Um, don't know what. To, I think it's probably. I think it's Uniden wide. It must be Uniden wide because I plugged in uh, a microphone that I use on my Uniden Uni Ace 300 and it works. So it must be Uniden. Mic gain. You can adjust your mic gain, but you can't adjust your power level. I think I'd rather have a power level rather than a mic gain, but there we go. Volume and squelch on the same knob. Volume and squelch. RF gain. That's a nice thing to have RF gain. I like that. SWR and clarify, mainly for AM receive. Doesn't work on outgoing, only works on receive. So, that's that really. Now, just to try and help some of you understand, I went to the Charlie Tango website and I printed off a frequency chart because I know some of you may not realize, I mean, I still haven't bloody well grasped it. I I, know, I can't memorize all these bloody frequencies. Look at all them. And I forget which ones are on where, mid, low, and high, and all that rubbish. So we've got medium, low, and high. Um, no UK 40s. Now, hopefully, this will help you understand a little bit. We've got um, these are obviously the channels, and then you've got all those there. Lows. This is the ones we were looking at low, mid, and high. Uh, the other ones we've got, these are the UK 40 CB. If you buy, buy and buy a normal CB radio in England, 2781, this is what the channels that you'll get, frequencies you'll get down there. Now, you won't get any of these, you'll get these. But on this radio, we've got lows, all the way down to there, mids, all the way down to there, and highs, all the way down to there. <coughs> Sorry, had to sneeze. Anyway, so that's what we got. That's what we can transmit on. Um, you know, purple ones are calling frequency, so we've got a calling one there. I don't think anyone uses it though. So, hopefully, that helped you understand a little bit more um, what this radio transmits on and receives on. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't do CB. Um, so, well, it does do CB, but not UK ones. So, if you turn it on. We get a load of noise because we haven't got an antenna plugged in the back of it at the moment. So turn that squelch there. And then obviously you've got your TX and RX light. I don't know why it's got an ant antenna light. Um, it comes on when you transmit when you TX. Um, I'm assuming it just comes on. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It just comes on. Always has done. So it works. So eh, there you go. 24 goes from 1 to 40. There you go, one and 40. One thing I've got to fix on this radio, there should be a light behind this meter. It doesn't work. Um, the bulb's probably gone, something's happened to it, don't know. Um, so that's one of the things I'm gonna try and fix. I'll do that at some point. May do it today, don't know yet. Every time I look at this radio, every time I use this radio, I think to myself, must fix that bloody light on that meter. I must do it, I never do. Usually they're just little bulb clipping. Sometimes you have to solder in a bulb, depends. I don't know what this is like on this radio, I haven't looked yet. We'll have a look at some point. So, oh, before we do that, hold on. I was gonna say, let's go and see if we can find a contact, but let's have a look at the microphone. Now, I don't think, I would not think this is definitely not the microphone that comes with it when it was new, I wouldn't have thought, definitely not. It's a, DM, a TMC 520, <coughs> pardon me. No, it's not, it's the one that come with it when I bought it. Not the standard microphone for the radio, I wouldn't have thought. I would have thought it would come with a CRT mic. Did I say radio comes with a microphone? I meant microphone comes with the radio. So this is a not this is a standard mic, not powered, anything like that, no power, nothing. So and it worked all right. Um, but what I'd done, banking on the fact that it would be Uniden wide and I wouldn't have to mess around with the wiring. I've got this microphone here. It's quite handy. It's a spare one that I have. HGM 75 comes with a lot of Cobra radios as standard these days um, and it's a power mic you've got the gain up there which I had set to 10 
and you've got your four pin plug all that curled up lead handy dandy so that's what you get well it's not what you get I mean it's what I've got here you don't get that I mean I've got this um, and it works very well you've got that little light goes on there and you key up so let's plug an area in the back of it um, and see if we can get any contacts and you can see what it sounds like um, you know on the speaker and everything like that right so we've got it plugged in now we've got the antenna plugged in right, so, I'm talking. so we've got the antenna plugged in we're currently on um, mid band um, channel 40 and uh, I suppose what we'll do is we'll just flick around so we can find somebody hopefully we'll find someone um, there's not a lot of people around uh, on, on, in my area you see so may not find anyone. Start off with uh, one, shall we? You can tell by the difference in the sound of the static if there's somebody speaking in the background or not. If there's someone right in the distance, and they're not audible, but you can hear them, you can tell by the different sounds in the static, different pitches in the static. Someone in that one. That's just noise. <coughs> someone then all right I'm gonna flick around um, and then I'll come back when I find someone if I find someone right I couldn't find anyone so I've arranged for a little friend of mine um, to come up and uh, we'll have a little contact and then you can see how it's working you can see how it receives what it sounds like and uh, yeah I mean I, 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 I forgot to tell you this radio is stuck on power you know you can't adjust it um, it's supposed to do 12 watts but um, it's been I think it's either been turned down or it just only does 10 oh there we go we've got someone on here look hello hello Good morning there, dude. How are you this morning? I don't know whether whether I woke you up or whether you was, uh, you know, just lounging around. Yeah, a little bit of a crackle in the background. Good to have a little bit. Yeah, it did. But I don't think it'll help, though, because I'm, I'm only giving you about 8 watts. As you can see, we're quite a distance apart, so... I've got an antenna warning coming up on the screen. Oh dear. Okay, right, does this one sound okay? Cool, that sounds absolutely fantastic. Much better than the other one. Yeah, do you want more power? No, no, that's brilliant. 
That's Bat Signal 7, Radio 5, that one. Yeah, good morning to you. It's a lovely Saturday morning, and I thought I'd uh, film another another radio, another vintage radio. I've been putting up, uh, it's a series I've been doing every Sunday. I was doing vintage cameras for a while, until I run out of cameras, and then I decided to do vintage radios. And uh, currently on this Superstar 120, probably not vintage, but... Uh, it's from the 90s, I'd imagine, so it's, it, clari it, it, uh, it clarifies as a, an old radio anyway, I think. Yeah, old enough. So, I know Sheldon Cooper did uh, fun with flags. Are you doing fun with vintage? Vintage anything? Yeah, well, at the moment, this, <laughs> this, 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 I'm doing a series, like I said, so until I run out of radios, um, I, like I said, I've done a, I don't know, I've done a series or every Sunday morning. That for those people who want to relax, a lot of people liked it actually. Um, getting up at five o'clock on a Sunday morning and relaxing, watching a, a vintage camera. So I'm doing a vintage radios, only CBs, only CBs this time. I may go on to other ones, I don't know yet. Um, but it's only vintage CBs. So when I run out of them, I go on to something else. Um, I may do the uh, Victorian oil lamps or something at some point. Uh, but basically, I just put it on the table, talk about it with um, you know the limited knowledge I have talk about it and then plug it in and try and talk to someone so are you recording now? ok well this is Marvin on the radio um, enjoying the radio it's nice to know that you've got some nice uh, older kit there and um, it's nice to talk to you a uh, bit of a gloomy morning today but uh, it should brighten up nicely well, it may be gloomy where you are, but it's not gloomy where I am. It's quite nice out there. There's some Jews about, a few Jews out there. Out there. I got a little bit damp this morning when I walked across the garden. Other than that, it's not too bad. Yeah, I don't think this radio really... I don't know. I can't find a date on it. It's that Superstar 120, but I can't find a date on it. But it says 19, so it's definitely from 1990-something or 80-something. I don't know can't find a date but I think it clarifies uh, I think anything older than t the year 2000 or before the year 2000 to me that clarifies as old or vintage what do you reckon well you got to think about it we're in 2018 so <laughs> yeah most definitely it is an aging radio um, it still works works really well um, I'm quite surprised that uh, they did uh, a radio with just FM and AM it's nice to see the different variants of the um, the different the different radios that are available, so um, I suppose in Europe they have a, a good calling for FM and AM radios, where uh, uh, some people like the step up to have the SSB radios. So there we go. I managed to get a little bit of chat there. Um, it's quite nice um, chatting to old Marvin there. Like I said, he's, he's I'm going to say 20 miles. It's probably not quite 20. We'll say that anyway. Yeah lovely job so if you're interested in watching any of these radios then uh, like i said every sunday every sunday morning o'clock or five o'clock morning o'clock every sunday morning at five o'clock we'll have um this radio by the way is, is, is supposed to be five watts um we'll have a, a, another video on an old vintage radio the last series i've done was vintage cameras it was the last series vintage cameras this one's going to be vintage CB, radio, CB radios. So lovely job. If you're interested in that, lovely job. Subscribe. Keep your ears and eyes and everything open and tuned in. Um, and then after that, I might go and do some vintage oil lamps or something like that. I've got a couple of vintage Victorian oil lamps and things like that. But depends what you're interested in. We're going to do anything on here from AM, FM, CB, SSB, any radios that I have laying around. We'll do videos of. So thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. Thank you.